Line has long supported Google Test, Boost Test and Cache 2. A two of those get an update as we'll see. But 2020.2 also adds a new test framework to the family. DocTest. DocTest is a more recent framework in the style of Catch 2, but DocTest is optimized for compile time performance and is aimed at allowing you to write test code right in your production code from source files. See this guest post from the author himself for more background. Now C-Line support for DocTest is just as you would expect. Test run output is captured, displayed in the test runner pane, with a hierarchical view of test cases and what DocTest calls subclasses over on the left and the actual test output on the right. You also get the option to rerun failed tests from there. But also in the code, CLine discovers test cases and gives you the controls to run or debug individual tests right from there. And for full control, the dedicated run config lets you specify suites, test names, or patterns, which let you match against wildcarded strings. Meanwhile, if you're using Catch 2, we now fully support the new template test cases. And in Google Test, they recently introduced the gtest skip macro that gives you a chance to make a runtime decision to skip a test, perhaps because of some platform or CPU dependency. While this worked before, we didn't have special handling for it. Now we do. We also fixed an issue when running multiple CMake targets containing Google Tests, which no longer gives a preparation cancelled message. Now, CLine got code coverage integration with GCOV and LCOV at the end of last year, but it did take a bit of setup before you could use it. Well, now CLine can do that for you. If you go to run with coverage, but it doesn't find a GCOV, LCOV, or Profero file already there, you'll be prompted with this offer to add something automatically. If you accept the offer, your project will now run with coverage enabled. And if you look in the settings, you'll see that it's added a new CMake profile with the coverage flags being passed in. Unless it found an equivalent one already there, in which case it would have switched to that. So adding code coverage to your project is easier than ever. And with updates to Google Test and Catch 2 support, and the addition of DocTest integration, CLI in 2020.2 passes all the tests.